Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me for church. I wanted to do this because when I asked you guys what you wanted to see from me, a lot of you guys said you wanted a makeup routine, but my makeup routine is pretty simple, so I thought why not combine it with you know, how I do my hair for church, which is also pretty simple, but yeah. So without further ado, I'm going to show you guys how I do my makeup first. So I just washed my face and I have my mirror set up over here, so that's why I'm looking that way. And what I'm first going to start off with is concealer. Disclaimer, this makeup routine is not zero waste, but I still wanted to show you guys because you asked for it. And I'm just trying to use up all my old products and then definitely after I finish off this makeup, then I'll move on to some zero waste alternatives. So this is the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and I'm going to blend it in with this Real Technique sponge. Then I'm going to put a little bit around my mouth because I learned that trick from Violette FR. She's like a makeup artist from France and she's so amazing. It just helps like brighten your face a little bit more. And then I'm also going to put a little bit of lip balm on. I have the Smith's Rosebud Salve, and it's pretty good, but obviously it's packaged in plastic, but they do have one that's like in a metal tin. I don't know, I'm just not that big of a fan of it, but it works, so I'll keep it. The next thing I'm going to use is this Milk Makeup Bronzer in the shade Baked. I think it's the lighter shade of the two. And I just put like a little small stripe under my cheekbones. And then I blend it in with this brush I have from Tarte. I don't think this counts as contouring because I just kind of like swirl it all around my face. Because I feel like I'm like pretty tan, but I feel like I just like always look really pale in my face. So I like to add some color to my cheeks. I'm just kind of brush it all around. The next thing I use is another Milk Makeup product. It's this little blush stick. So I just swipe a little bit on, on my cheeks. And then I blend it in with my fingers. I feel like this is nice because then I don't need to use highlighter. I don't really like using highlighter. And so this kind of gives you like a dewy look without it being like sweaty and then I know this is really extra but my friend gave me this blush it's from Milani I think <coughs> allergies it's from Milani and I just thought I'd use it I'm obsessed with blush so I like to put a little more on top just to give it a cute little rosy look and then I also sometimes brush it across the top of my nose so I look like I have a little sunburn. So yeah. The next thing I use is brow gel. This one's from Benefit. Everything has rubbed off on it. But I used to use the Glossier Boy Brow. And that one's really good too. But after I finish this up, I also want to try um, the Soap Brow. Because that's like a zero waste alternative. And I've heard a lot of people say that works really well. And, I mean, I'm not that picky about what I put on my eyebrows. The next thing I do is move on to eyelashes. I usually don't curl or put mascara on my eyelashes because if you look at my Lividly Bog post, which I'll link down below, I did 40 days without mascara and it was life-changing and I realized that I really don't need it. Eyelashes don't define beauty. I don't know why. I was so obsessed with it and I literally could not go a day without it. So if you're like me and you felt like you couldn't even leave the house without mascara, definitely try a month without mascara. Like just like never put it on. Even if you're going to like a special event, don't put it on. It changes your life because um, you just realize it's not that big of a deal. But today I did want to show you when I do my mascara what I use. So I curl my lashes with, I think it's the Shiseido eyelash curler that I've seen a lot of people use. It's really good. And then I have my Glossier Lash Lick. And then, sorry if I make that weird mascara face. Now I'm done with mascara and the last step in my makeup routine is this Dior Attic Lip Tattoo. <coughs> 
in the color natural berry and I have pretty pale lips so I like to put this on it's like a lip stain and it lasts for a pretty long time and then I kind of swipe it around my lips and I'll put some more lip balm on top and that's my finished makeup look so for my hair I don't do a lot to my hair when I go to church or I haven't really been doing anything to it lately because I started using that new shampoo that I shared in my summer favorites and it's made my hair so much less frizzy and so much more shiny so I don't really feel the need to use any heat on my hair so I just kind of put it in braids and it gets wavy like this and then I just leave it like that or if I'm just really not feeling my hair I'll just put it in a ponytail and then pull these hairs out and then put a hair scarf on so it's pretty simple so I just decided to include this in the video, but I wanted to show you guys some other small things that I do when I get ready for church. These are pretty simple, and my dog's barking in the back, but just ignore that. Um, so every morning I read from the devotional that I showed you guys in my Summer Favorites video. It's called the One Minute with God year-long devotional, and I really like doing that every morning because it just sets the tone for the day. And then also, as often as I can, I like to read the Bible and... I started with John and yesterday I read some of Corinthians because I just wanted to read Corinthians and um, I also have that moleskin notebook that I showed in my summer favorites video and I just write down stuff to remember from the chapter that I read. I try to read a chapter every day and my dog's still going insane but um, yeah and also I can't have my phone upstairs in my room that much but um, I do try to play some worship music and just if I'm like making breakfast or stuff like that um, because I really like listening to worship music and I like kind of like finding new worship songs because I feel like that's just really good.